Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently in our machine learning course, we are discussing about statistics for machine learning and the next topic which we have is hypothesis testing. So in this video, let's understand what is meant by an hypothesis and the two types of hypothesis that are null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and then I'll explain you what is meant by hypothesis testing. And then let's understand what is the importance of hypothesis testing in statistics as well as in machine learning. So these are the topics which we will be covering in today's video. With that being said, in case you are watching my videos for the first time, hi, in this YouTube channel, I'm making a hands on machine learning course with Python. And if you want to learn this course from the beginning, I'll give the link for my course playlist in the description of this video and you can check that book. So let's get started with today's video. First, let's try to understand what is meant by an hypothesis. Hypothesis is an assumption that is made based on the observations of an experiment. So whenever we are carrying out a statistical experiment or a statistical study, we come to a conclusion or an inference. So we can call this also an assumption. So this is nothing but the hypothesis that we are giving based on the evidence. So here the evidence which we have is the data. Okay. So it is the result or inference. So hypothesis is the result or inference or the assumption that we are making based on our data. Okay. And we have two types of hypothesis. One is null hypothesis and the next one is alternative hypothesis. So what is meant by these two types of hypothesis? Null hypothesis is the commonly accepted fact and uh, alternative hypothesis is something which is opposite to null hypothesis and it challenges the null hypothesis. Okay. So let's say that there is a marketing company and they have two strategies to promote a product and they are carrying out some statistical based study to find which one is a better uh, means of strategy and they concluded that uh, strategy number one is more suitable for that particular product and this will be the null hypothesis because this particular uh, inference or this particular result has been accepted by everyone and let's say after few days someone else came and they are carrying out more number of uh, you know experiments and they conclude that uh, strategy number two is more efficient and it becomes an alternative hypothesis. Now we can say that the two hypotheses are opposite to each other, right? So null hypothesis is, is the one which has previously been accepted by everyone and alternative hypothesis is one which challenges the previously accepted hypothesis. Okay, so this is the difference between the two. And I'll also explain you this with an interesting example. So one example for null hypothesis which we can think of is 2000 years back, Ptolemy proposed that sun, stars and other planets revolve around the earth. Okay, so earth is the center of the universe and other planets, sun and stars revolve around the earth. So this kind of a model is called as a geocentric model because earth is considered to be at the center. And uh, after that, people like Aryabhatta and Copernicus proposed that earth and other planets revolve around the sun. So sun is the central one and other planets and earth revolve around the sun. So this model is called as an heliocentric model where sun is the central, uh, you know, uh, object or and this is the one proposed by Ptolemy is called as a geocentric model because earth is the one. Here, the model proposed by Ptolemy was accepted by a lot of people based on the data that they had at that time and we know that this is strong, right? So this is the commonly accepted fact at that point and it is called as a null hypothesis and people came and gave an alternative hypothesis and that's called as an heliocentric model. So this is meant by the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis and the main thing which you need to note here is so null hypothesis is the one which has been prevailing previously and the alternative hypothesis is the one which is challenging the null hypothesis. And uh, we carry out something called as hypothesis testing to find whether null hypothesis is true or alternative hypothesis is true. Okay, so that is the purpose of an hypothesis testing. So hypothesis is an assumption that is made based on the observation of an experiment which we have discussed and hypothesis testing is a method carried out to test the assumptions made in the experiment. So we are going to carry out or we are going to test both the assumptions we have made and this is nothing but hypothesis testing. Now let's try to understand this with a more suitable example. Let's say that there is a pharmaceutical company and this company makes drugs for a day. So they make two drugs for a day as drug A and drug B and these two are for a day. Okay. And uh, they are carrying out some statistical study to find which drug is better, whether drug A is better and whether drug A is 
more quicker in uh, curing a headache or drug e you know takes less time to cure a headache so which one is faster in action okay so that is something which we are, which they are going to test and uh, let's say that uh, they are having two groups of people so group 1 and group 2 and people in group 1 have been administered drug a if they have a headache and people in group 2 have been administered drug b if they have a headache okay and let's say that there are about five people in each groups and uh, so i'm just taking a small sample size so this is just for an explanation purpose and generally the sample size will be very huge in this case so let's say that there are five people and first person took the drug a for his headache and he took about 12 minutes to recover from from that uh, headache okay so these are the time taken by each individual uh, to get recovered from that particular headache so first person took 12 minutes and the second person took 8 minutes 13 minutes 10 minutes and so on so we have five people and the time taken by them to recover from that particular headache and uh, the second group of people this is the time taken by them so what you can see here is so the time taken by people in group a is very less when compared to uh, people in group uh, b so the average time taken is 10 minutes in the case of people in group A when they took drug A uh, for an addict and uh, the average time taken in the case of drug B is 15 minutes. Okay. And the null hypothesis which we are getting here is drug A takes 10 minutes on an average to cure a dick and drug B takes 15 minutes on an average to cure, uh, you know, a dick. So the hypothesis which we are getting here is drug A is more quicker. Okay. So this will be a null hypothesis because let's say that uh, everyone accepted this hypothesis. Now, few days uh, have gone by and uh, people have made some changes to the formula of, of drug B. So, some changes has been made on drug B to uh, make sure that it works better. And now, uh, there is another hypothesis that has been given out. So, the null hypothesis is the one which states that drug A is more quicker than drug B. And we have the alternative hypothesis which states that drug B is more quicker than drug B drug A. So we know that some changes have has been uh, done to drug B. So we know that null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis are opposite to each other. So you can see here, here the drug A is the more quicker one and based on the alternative hypothesis drug B is the more quicker one. And this is where several tests will be made to find which one is better. Okay. So what happens here is now several statistical experiment will be done with more number of people so multiple studies will be carried out to check whether uh, the null hypothesis is true or the alternative hypothesis is true so the outcome which you get for the hypothesis testing in any case so it, just not for this case for any case what is the possible outcomes you will get is either you will reject the null hypothesis so in this case if you reject the null hypothesis we can say that uh, drug b is more quicker so we know that uh, null hypothesis states that drug a is more quicker and if we reject the null, null hypothesis that means drug b is more quicker and the other possible outcome is we may fail to reject the null hypothesis so you know these words are important and this is how we generally state it either we reject the null hypothesis or we may fail to reject the null hypothesis so how may this you know how this can happen so in the case where uh, let's say that about 10 studies have been made separately and in almost uh, 8 out of 10 studies drug b is uh, you know drug b takes less time than drug a to cure an headache then that means the alternative hypothesis is true and the null hypothesis will be rejected and then let's say that uh, in other case out of the 10 uh, statistical experiments that we uh, do with both the drugs uh, you know 9 out of 10 times drug a takes less time this means we cannot reject the null hypothesis and this will stay true in that case drug a will be uh, you know more quicker than drug b so these are the two possible outcomes which you take in uh, which you will get in hypothesis testing so here the main things which we have to note here are uh, we know that null hypothesis is one which has been the commonly accepted assumption and there is another hypothesis called as an alternative hypothesis which challenges that null hypothesis so only one of them can be true in a particular case and to find that one we do hypothesis testing to find uh, which one is more validated so where this can be used in statistics in statistics everything is about getting some inference getting some understanding about the data right and uh, once you get that inference you cannot just uh, go out there and tell that this is the uh, finding and this is the true you know outcome so we need to test our outcome 
we need to validate our outcome and this is where the hypothesis testing comes into play and as machine learning is machine learning is dependent on statistics a lot we need to understand these concepts as well where uh, in machine learning as well we make several uh, inferences and assumption based on our machine learning model the predictions made by our machine learning model and in that case as well we need to validate our assumption in lot of the cases not in all of the cases but in lot of the cases we need to do this testing to validate our results so that is all about hypothesis testing and i hope you have understood all the things covered in this video and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching